Hi, my name is Ashok. Uh, today we are going to see a topic on C4C, how to do the business configuration. To do so, go to business configuration implementation project. Select the project and click on edit project scope. Here you will see how to select the countries. There are various countries which you can add based on your business requirements. So once you select the countries, you can click on next. Here in the implementation focus, you will be able to see what has been mainly focused like the SAP Cloud for custom. So just you just have to click on next after the step. These are the default uh, kind of set of activities that you do. So now we are in the main screen, like the scoping. Can you see uh, the scoping elements? These are called the elements which are being uh, segregated according to their uh, initial scope, which has been made by the country. Not by the country, uh, actually, uh, it's a default uh, elements which SAP provides. So, if you could see, uh, there are like uh, sales campaign, under sales campaign, you have so many other uh, sub elements which falls for which you can just uh, trigger the selection box if it is required for your business needs and you can just uh, activate those. Once you've done this, you can go to the next step. In the next step, you will find a list of uh, questions which will be popping based on the elements whichever you select. So, uh, uh, when you compare the same setup of, setup of the uh, business configuration with uh, SAP VOID, it is more or less similar. Whereas, uh, initially, uh, SAP has provided uh, the setup for the cloud platform like the selection of the country, the implementation, what kind of implementation is going to be and you will have a set of focus on uh, the scopings and then you will have the set of questions based on the scoping whatever you have done for the initial scope elements then based on which uh, the system will populate automated questions from where you just have to uh, trigger those questions uh, if you could go into some elements you will find a list of questions which has to be uh, marked so it is all this all depends on your uh, business requirement if a customer wants some some uh, things to be activated so you have to go to this question and you have to activate it based on this kind of uh, list of questions whatever you activate over here the uh, set of activities get populated in the back end so once you have done uh, selecting all the elements you have to go into each element and just find what are the uh, scoped uh, questions which you uh, which the system will default populate so once that is done you just have to click on next so mainly when you do this like you will have set of questions like you will have a uh, scroll bar over here where you can scroll to the next 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 like uh, certain fields will be hidden like which will, uh, some people will not be able to uh, find those so in this in those cases you just have to mainly keep an eye on the uh, scroll wall over here like to switch the pages so once you <laughs> just imagine like you have only one screen over here and just click on uh, next and if you go you will miss some questions which have been already populated by SAP so just keep an eye on the next page over here in in most of the scenarios you will find it some some cases you will not find it some cases you will have it so kindly go into each element step by step and find those questions and try to answer or answer all those questions whichever is required for your business then click on next Once the, once the questions has been uh, answered and uh, everything has been like uh, performed well, then you have to accept the uh, pre-selected answers. Just a uh, default selection what SAP has uh, 
completed and uh, you will come to the fifth stage where the review happens the review will have the scoping results like the sap will by default provide a set of documents like the solution proposal the executive summary and the solution pro uh, propo proposal for us and the summary of it the note so you can download those by clicking on uh, each of uh, this uh, set of activities so you can just keep an eye on those and then you can uh, directly click on finish once you have done so as i have already scoped and things have been already set up so i'm, I'm not going to click on finish so in your case you can just do that so once that has been completed you just have to click uh, go to open activity list so this open activity list it will provide a set of activities which you have to complete it and uh, you have to perform the fine tuning and migration all those activities comes under under one roof where you will be uh, performing various set of activities based on the instruction which is being provided by sab this is this uh, session we will uh, take it over in the next video where uh, it is like uh, it will be little bit in depth of each activities what has to be done and how it has to be done so i think that we can continue in the next video so so far we have seen how to do the business configuration scoping and the scope scoped element with those uh, questions which has to be answered based on which this uh, activities gets populated once again thank you for watching my video do subscribe it and also try to share it and like it also uh, expecting some comments thank you guys